Hey guys, welcome back. Kit review time. This week we look at a big, big scale, 24 scale Hawker Hurricane Mark II C from Trumpeter. All right, so here she is, big box. I'm barely fit on the camera. And in case you're wondering, so I bought this from AliExpress in because they're out. $60, $70, maybe a little bit more, maybe $90 I've seen in the US. And I uh, went AliExpress and I found this for $35 with about $20 shipping. So I thought, bargain. So I got it from a Chinese seller, um, shipped pretty quickly, got it about two weeks from China, and um, opened a box and I got this guy in it, which is a template of a Kitty Hawk, rest in peace, SU30. It's just random, right? So, don't know what. So, anyway, so I got that in there. And um, this is a kit, so I'm not sure if there's anything else in this box, too, but. Here we go, so here's a beautiful um, Hurricane Mark II C and 24 scale. So it's gonna be a big beast, but not massive because obviously it's World War II fighter. So it's gonna be 40 millimeters long and, um, for, sorry, 40 centimeters long and about 50 centimeters wide. So it's gonna be a big big guy, but not super massive, right? Um, 234 pieces, a photo, photo etch, and um, 13 sprues, according to the box. It's part number, Ooh, I'm not sure. It's zero two four one five. Zero two four one five. So let's open a box and see what we got inside here. And there we go. Well, off the bat, the rivet detail looks quite impressive. You can really see the sight. Really see the size of this bird. So yeah, here we go. We've got this guy. We've got. Fuse large parts, photo etch. I'm not going to use the harnesses. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I've got all these little boxes or something down the side here too. Um, so rubber tires. All right, so let me get the instructions out. It's quite a big book. And the decals, and um, we'll go from there. So let me clear this away, and then we'll look at plastic right after. Okay, so we got the color call outs, decals, and the instruction sheet. Now I do love trumpeter kits, um, especially the 30 second scale. You've seen I've built a bunch of my channels, build videos, and um, I don't know, I just really enjoy them. Um, they're not overly complicated. They're pretty good together pretty well, um, no fuss. So hopefully this one is the same way. Um, full disclosure, I'm gonna build this on my channel and it will go up on my Patreon channel as a early release. So go ahead and take, take a look below. If you wanna look at my Patreon, you can check the videos out. It will, will be a full video build series and then it'll go up on my YouTube channel in um, I don't know, about six months or a year's time. Um, so here is 24 scale Mark II C. Now the reason I got this kit is there's not really a great 30 second scale hurricane out there, and this is my favorite aircraft over the Spitfire. I know, I know, it's but it's um there's not a great 30 second scale one out there. I did hear some rumblings, potentially Ravel are going to bring one out maybe next year in 30 second scale, but I thought you know what, why not? I like this aircraft. Let's go big, go big or go home. Let's do 24 scale. So here's gives you um kind of breakdown of what you got in the box. And, I don't know, the paper seems very old and kind of like yellowed and stuff. Um, doesn't bode well for the decals, but we'll see. So we're putting the seats together, the harnesses. Um, we're not gonna use the harnesses, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, cockpit detail, again, 24 scales, so there should be plenty of room to you know, do some little scratch building and really detail this up, some chipping and some revering and stuff. Um, looks like we got like a film for the decals, which goes behind probably a clear part, I'd imagine. Um, got this engine block, so we got the engine. And again, not tons of detail on the engine, but twenty again, 24 scale, and you can definitely spend some time with some wiring and reference pictures and really kind of spice this up a little bit if you want to, um, if you're gonna see it, that is. Um, engine going in, then we've got the stabilizers. I'm um, to paint the inside of the fuselage halves, some more detail going in. And then, as always, World War II stuff, we're sandwiching, well, the engine and the cockpit in between the two fuselage halves. And just bring it all together, some more detail. Just put the wheel bays on for the wings. Again, more detail going in. And the guns. Again, I got some aftermarket for this. So again, we'll talk about it right after this, what I've got the extra stuff. So you do have plastic, um, obviously, for the, the right and left machine gun. This is the Mark II C, so it does have the machine guns.
wait, what have we got going on? Um, yeah, so it's two on each side, so four. Then here's your, your barrels for your guns, a couple of clear parts, you probably won't put those on at the end. Some panels, so you can actually have it open, which is kind of nice, see the gun bay. Then some flaps. Then you're bringing in this guy, the fuselage to the wings. Got the gear. Again, there's a few more little smaller parts going on. And part 25, again, putting the main, putting the gear on, propeller, the exhaust. It's like multiple pieces. And the canopy is movable, so I guess you could have to glue it. I mean, I guess it looks like it slides on the rail backwards and forwards, which is kind of neat. And there you go. So again, 26 sections, not tons of parts, and it's just a pretty nice build. So this is kind of what I like. I don't like the ones where you get kits where you get you know, a big gazillion parts, and you know I do like to kind of get this thing, get the build moving along, and some some progress shown and stuff. So that instructions. Now let me show you the aftermarket real quick. What I've got for this. So not much, but I got three things which I think would be very important. So firstly, I've got the fabric seat belt set from HGW. Now they don't do, um, so this is a Sutton harness. They don't do a Sutton harness per se anymore. I think it's discontinued for this kit. But if you get this one, which I did, a Hawker Hunter 124507 the FX kit, the seat belt is exactly the same. So the fabric belt will work fine with this one. So I got the fabric belt, it comes with this really cool photo etch. Um, I think I paid like $15 for this. So in this scale, I think it's definitely worth, you know, investing in some detail. So I got the fabric seat belt, which can be better than a photo etch. I got the Yahoo 2402, which is the instrument panel. And again, you can tell there the detail, hopefully on the camera, it's gonna be a lot nicer and easier. So this one's designed for this kit, the um, the Trumpeter kit. So we've got this guy as well, which can add some really nice detail. And finally, again, this was about $10. And then these weren't very much either. These are the Master am-24-010 again they're for the hurricane mark 2c which will build this kit so this kit does come with a couple different flavors mark 1 mark 2c and then the, the trop trop version um so here are the um hispano mark 2 20 mil cannons and look really nice detailed metal metal so that's good with springs and all that kind of stuff so this is gonna be a big improvement so these three alone again not much of work investment in terms of aftermarket because you know nowadays some of this stuff costs so expensive but all this put together with that kit is going to make a nice, you know, reasonably priced, pretty awesome looking display piece, I think. So that's my aftermarket. Now, next up, we've got the color callouts. So what we got going on here, we have the Mark III, sorry, um, Mark III, Mark II Free Squadron 1942 in the dark green, dark sea gray and medium sea gray. I kind of really like this one. And on the back here, we have an 87 squadron, which is in, what's that, 335, medium sea gray. So, okay, so this is all medium sea gray all over. Well, this one is, uh, yeah, my bad. So this one is going to be a dark sea gray and your um, dark green, which I kind of like this one better, I think. So you've got the camo, or you got the um, very snazzy looking dark colored one as well. All right, so your two choices. There's tons of aftermarket decals for these two um, I've seen online. So there's definitely plenty of choice out there. So here's your decal sheet. Again, I'm a little worried because it's a little bit yellowy. So we'll see, which indicates it's been stored in an environment that's not being temperature controlled. And okay, so not the best decals and not the worst these are all a little bit kind of like see the coloring on it now with this scale i think i've got myself a um this space circle color so i think i'm actually for once i'm actually going to cut these out and um make templates and actually paint them paint these markings i think this size i think i'm going to paint the paint these round ones rather than use the decals um in terms of the other ones there's barely any a couple what handful of stencils um what you get like 10 probably um, some letters for the side and um, again the colors are a little bit off on these but nothing too bad we're going to weather the aircraft up anyway and a couple of num identifying numbers and stuff as well but yeah a lot of these I think I'm going to buy either, either trace these and, and create templates or just buy a mask set and paint these I think will be the way to go for me all right and that's it so let's look at the plastic
All right, so we're gonna start. We're gonna start with this um, giant sprue right here to wing spar. Now I'm gonna start building this right away. So I'm just gonna throw all these plastic bags away. I don't need them anymore. And I'm just trying to get some camera. But here you go. There's, there's some wing. And hopefully you see the amazing detail. This is recessed and some raised detail. One giant wing spar for the underside. Again, not even going to fit on the camera, but you see all that beautiful detail. And that gives you an idea of the size. So that's going to be the width for this guy. So it's actually quite big. I'm looking over at my 30 second scale growl of my EA18G I just built. And I think it's going to be about the same size. Um, this is obviously being 24th scale, but it looks similar kind of footprint. So obviously quite a big lump. So that's your wings. I can probably even zoom out a little bit. There you go. Now let's get the next bag, which will be the, the fuselage. <laughs> Again, this is just a huge lump. I mean, certainly a far cry for me when you're a kid building a 70 second scale. I uh, apologize for the back crinkling. So there you go. And um, really nice, you know, where the fabric is back here. And then you got your details of your rivets up front. Obviously, the proof in the pudding here is how well this thing's going to go together. I think it, from what I've seen online, I think it does go together pretty well. So it can gives you an idea of the size of the fuselage right here. We're what? We are about 13 and a half inches plus obviously the propeller. So really nice again i'm not a rivet counter i know some of these trumpeter kits aren't quite always up to shape and stuff for just glancing at it for me it does kind of look like a hurricane i don't really have any issues there i'm again i'm not a rivet counter and um as long as it kind of in the right ballpark i'm kind of happy with it but there you go that's the fuselage now next up we've got the clear parts so we've got the clear instrument panel we're obviously got our own set um but if you're not you got this um Looks these looks like these are the cowlings maybe which are in clear so you can have it that's interesting I'm probably painting these but you can have the cowlings I guess in clear so you can see the engine now let's see what the tires are like okay um they're okay some tread there and stuff I think they use it very hard. I think nowadays, you know, these rubber tires are perfectly good to use. And I, I do kind of like, they make it easy for painting too. You just paint the rims and then just put them right in there. So I think I'll probably go with these. Um, don't look too bad at all. And the clear parts. And they are very clear. As you can see on my mat here, no problems at all. Nice clear parts. Very crisp. Okay, so we've got the photo etch, which is pretty much the, the harnesses. I don't really need... Oh, I mean, you've got like a bit of a film for the... Let's, let's open this up. Reminds me of the old Ares resin cockpit set. So you've got a bit of film that goes behind the clear part. Um, doesn't look too bad, but obviously, if I just compare it to my aftermarket one, you know, there's a big difference there, right? Okay, so some various parts here. Looking again, the rivets are really big, but I think it'd be fine because obviously the scale and also, excuse me, it's going to be um, good for taking a wash. Nice and crisp, no flash. You got this guy, which is going to be your, um, your, your, it's like your rudder and your stabilizers. OK, 
cave as you're framing for around the um, the engine, I believe. Control stick. Just chair, pretty basic. But again, once you put the um, once you weather it up a bit and put that fabric harness on, I think it'll be fine. Okay, then last up, three more bags. So this bag looks like we got some flaps. Again, you can see the the detail on the the wheels. The gear. Pretty basic. Okay, match pair. Looks like some of these are um, going to be the gun barrels, which are replacing with the metal ones. And a match pair again, match pair of sprues, two M's. engine so again very plain the engine block but it's that scale way you add some lead wire and some other bits like scratch building really make it kind of pop up pop if you want to do that um it might be the case of it's all closed up you're not even gonna see this so it might be pointless to kind of detail it but it's up to you um propeller blades again nice and crisp typical trumpeter no issues no flash no problems at all And a final sprue, so we've got the spinner and a few of the little parts, some frame and stuff. And again, as always with this kit looking like it's pretty nicely molded. Now that isn't it. I've got a bunch of little boxes in here. So I have one, two, three, six heavy boxes. So let's open, I'm pretty sure these aren't part of the kit. So let me see what I got in here. So. Wait, is that? I feel like a. <laughs> All right, so I got a blue ball, very heavy. Is it a... is it rubber ball? Nope, it's glass. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, neighbors. So I got a blue ball, another ball. Very curious. Now these are glass. I, I mean, I'm... so so again, I ordered this on AliExpress. I'm guessing the seller in China gave me these like some kind of free gift. These aren't part of the aircraft, but I'm just wondering, these six glass balls are pretty heavy. Like, is that put my shipping up like ten dollars? I'm sure if we didn't have those, my shipping would be a lot cheaper. But anyway, so this is very curious. Hey, if you could speak Chinese or read Chinese, Mandarin. Again, another blue one. So I don't know what these glass balls are. Like, okay, here you go. So comments below if you know what these glass balls are from China. Put a note because they're certainly not like nose weights or anything. Another blue one. Um, yeah, six glass balls. So please, in the comments below, put down exactly what you think they are because I am clueless here what they're supposed to be or what you're supposed to use them as. Um, yeah, it's glass. Um, so huh. I don't know what you're supposed to put with candles or some kind of decorative thing or what they are. So yeah, let me know. So there you go. That's the um, the kit. So, all right, guys. So it's been about two weeks since I filmed that, and I've actually built it um, about ready for paint. So it's always, I think it's always nice for these reviews to come back and give you kind of update how it goes well, how it goes together. And this was a treat. It went together really well, as you can see. No filler, great fit, and a really really enjoyable build. I'm definitely glad I added the instrument panel, the seat belt, and also the, the cannons. Those three things really kind of made this special. Now, this is possibly my kit of the year, and it's just great value for money. So this is the Mark II. The Mark I, I went and bought like an hour ago. I like this so much, I went and bought another kit, the other version. And on AliExpress, with shipping and tax, airmail shipping, $55 to my door. Like, 
where can you get an aircraft warbird this big, such detail for 55 bucks? Great deal, I think. So great value for money. Um, again, went together beautifully, had a blast building it. And um, I'll put some pictures up too, so you can probably see the internals. But um, there we go. Um, it does have kind of gimmicky clear parts at the front here. Um, I just PVA to glued them in so I can paint it, and then I'll take them off and leave it open. But you get some idea of the engine up front there. Again, the size too. Not mass, I mean, it's big, but it's not super huge, right? It's 50 centimeters wide and I think 40 long, right? Is what I said. Um, but yeah, I just want to come back and give you guys an update. Um, really thoroughly enjoying this build. Quite possibly my build of the year. And um, if you like large warbirds or a hurricane, I strongly, well, highly recommend this kit. So I'm actually done, doing a build series for my channel. It's going up um, starting Christmas Day. The first part will go up on my Patreon, actually, um, the link below. And um, if you want, I'm up to, to get to this stage, I'm up to five parts, and then part six will be painting. So probably about eight parts total. Um, filmed every single aspect of this, me building it. So if you're interested in seeing how it goes together, check out my Patreon. Um, if not, thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.